Original music from the Emerald Coast on 38 Songwriter Radio. Original music from the Emerald Coast on 38 Songwriter Radio. to a class, you're setting aside the time and disciplining yourself to get it done. Yeah, I have to do wow. it online. Yeah, it's it's actually a lot of fun. I enjoy the classes because I'm doing, like, this one, political science is my last general mm. um, course, but I've been doing, like, introduction to homeopathy and something like that, and um, I want to get my master's in botany, but um, I would like to open an alchemy shop. Wow. You know how musicians and stuff can be, the competition and whatnot. I was really lucky that the musicians around here kind of took me under their wing. Mm -hmm. The first band that I played with on stage was Heritage. Oh, wow. That's the common thread. I got, yeah. I got up there and I played Billie Jean with them on their break. <laughs> and they loved it. And then uh, Forrest. Yeah. I played with him and then Calamonica and Zach Rossica. And, you know, all, you the, hit all, the, right all the big right things are out. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what. Donnie Sundle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Speaking, I don't know what you think about it, but uh, Zach, uh, he's not even real. The guitar he plays, I mean, I've not heard anybody. He can play all of all of, all of the classics, like yeah. better than them, I think. I love hearing him see Booty Child Man. or play Booty Child. Yeah, but, no lack of confidence, that's for sure. Oh my God, the voice that comes out of his body is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, and I, can't, I don't even know like what kind of muscle memory it takes to play guitar. Like I'm uh, just like that's be, that's like beyond physics. I, I don't yeah. understand it. I really don't. I'm sitting there and watching play it. And it's yeah. Danny Coyote is a jewelry store, mm -hmm. correct? Okay. Yeah, I have it on Etsy, and um, you know, I, I just I haven't been making it as much. I have a huge stock already because yeah. you know, for a while there, I was like making it every night. And um, oh, that's what I was saying. I'd see you post, and you'd be like, I got a hundred on this test. I made three hundred bracelets. Like four <laughs> four shows, and I'm producing an album. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, bracelet that uh, Miss Barbie Lovell and Kim Riles both have one. And this is the one that went with the CD, right? Yes, I did make this CD. one. I did make this one. I will have some more of these. I will have more of these at my album release party. They say Traveling Soul and it is um, a little phrase in one of my songs called Your Girl. And the phrase is, I'm a traveling soul, a pair of worn out shoes, but I'd wear these soles down till they're, till they're bare to get back to you. I wrote that song in Key West, I, too. I have to stamp each individual letter in there by itself with a hammer and a stamp. Do you heat it up at all? or? No, I just, just tape it to a little it? anvil and I just kind of stamp it on there and then I uh, put it in this chemical where I have to wear a respirator. I'm really risking my life to make these bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wear a respirator and I um, put it in this chemical to turn it black. Okay. And then I... And of course, my father, who's the master of power tools, had to criticize the way that I did it. He was like, "You're doing it really inefficiently. You should be using this kind of polisher." And I'm like, "I'm doing it by hand, Daddy, because I want it to be made with love." So yeah. So and then I hand polish it. Yeah, 
Yeah, when I first started, I was just like banging on some strings, singing. My voice is definitely my instrument. But, um, you know, I've learned a lot. Um, <laughs> I've learned a lot by playing out in front of other people and watching them. Every time I go out to somebody's show, I always watch what they're doing. You know, and go home and pick for a little bit. You know, before I ever started playing guitar, like before I got a guitar, mm -hmm. I would, you know, sit down and I would write stuff. And I wrote one about giving my dog a flea bath one time. And, <laughs> yeah. 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 I am going to be an awards oh. presenter there. Oh, wow. Well, you're nominated with, um, I don't, who is Season Ammons? I don't know Season. She's amazing. Yeah, she's a really good You're nominated with her, Cheryl Jones, Kelsey Anna. She, Cheryl always wins. I think Kelsey won last Kelsey year. Kelsey won last yeah, year. Yeah, she deserves it. And then Ashley, the new singer from Bottoms Up Band, is they, they snuck into a few nominations oh, yeah. there at the last minute. I mean, Cheryl Jones is like out of all of our leagues. I mean, she's I don't feel like I can even go talk to her. Position. Yeah. You're, I mean, you, and so are you. This is the category you're in. Well... We have a lot of great musicians out here. I think we're really blessed in the area. That's for sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm even lucky to be in a category with all of those people because they're all really good. Um, they're from Georgia and they're really big over in Europe. And mm. you know they've been playing music since they were really little from what I understand. I read their bio and I think they've been classically trained mm -hmm. since they were like seven or something like wow. that. And they used to be in a band with their older sister called the Lovell Sisters. Mm -hmm. And um, I met them at the Songwriters Festival a couple of years ago. Wow. And since they've been like my favorite band in the world. <laughs> and I just, I fell in love with them. They're so sweet anyway. They were really nice. And they, I mean, they're just, they put on such a great performance and their songs are beautiful. So I was getting everything together for my new album and I was getting ready to start recording. I was like, you know, I'd really love to have, um, some, some of my songs need that kind of sound on it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, I wonder, you know, I called my mom up because she's always my <laughs> sounding board and I'm like, mom, so you remember Larkin Poe? She's like, yeah, I loved them. <laughs> it's like, so... What if I emailed them and I asked them to be on my album? What do you think would happen? She goes, well, they can only say no. That's right. And I was like, yeah, that's true. So I emailed them, and uh, Rebecca Lovell got back with me, and she was like, we would love to be on your Yeah, so then I took it one step further, and I was like, hey, you guys want to do my album release party with me since you guys are already on my album? And they were like, yeah, we're totally into it. To find myself, I whole yeah, um, I feel like my style has um, developed a lot more. My voice has definitely developed when I, since when I first started singing. And it's even when I first started singing in front of people, I got into people and my voice has just gotten a lot stronger. And um, I think I've really grown into myself and my style. Yeah. Your voice is, from what I've seen, your voice has definitely strengthened and matured and developed. Um, and so is my writing style. And so is my guitar playing. <laughs> yeah, well, it all comes, yeah, it all comes. You know, I was trying to go back to my roots a little bit, because my dad is a bluegrass musician, and, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to make him proud. And uh, I think he's, he's really going to enjoy it, and he's going to like it. I wanted to go back to my roots. I wanted to add a little bit of um, the Americana style instruments, not very country. And it's, there's actually two versions of the song in the album, because I felt like the song had two different personalities. So there's like um, a, kind of an angry version of the song, and then there's a slow, acoustic, sad version of the song at the end of the album. And which song is that so we can look for it when the CD comes out? It's called Blessing in Disguise. Okay. And the, the first version, which is the first song in the album, um, it's like kind of a full production and uh, it has like cellos and stuff in it. And yeah, it's, it's kind of a big to do. And then the, the acoustic version is just me and the acoustic piano. Wow. Okay. And it's completely stripped down, but it gives it a completely different feel. And now who's playing the piano? 
Donnie Sendel. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we played it live. Nice. And, uh, Is there anybody else on the album we should know about? <laughs> um, Donnie did backup vocals on one of the songs. Okay. And of course, Larkin Poe is on it, and um, Ben Friedman mixed the album with Donnie, and it was recorded at Neptune Recording Studio. There's a song in there that I co-wrote um, with my friend Jeff Fiorello. He's yeah. from Niceville, but he lives in New York now. Wow. And I went up there to visit him to do some songwriting, and uh, we wrote this song. It seems like we wrote it in like 20 minutes, but mm -hmm. it just kind of came out. It was like it was just too easy. It was waiting to be written, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, we decided that we could put it on my album, and it's kind of like a country jam. For sale at my album release party. Hopefully it'll be on Pandora. Okay. <laughs> and then you can get it on Amazon and iTunes too after. There's a whole lot better than since I left Cause I'm a traveling soul A pair of worn out shoes But I wear these souls until they're there To give back to you 